tour guides of Reddit. What's the stupidest thing you've witnessed a tourist say or do? I'm from just outside of Atlanta, GA. I also had zero relatives who fought in the Civil War. That is important to the story. I interned up in Massachusetts at a museum one summer. It was a great opportunity. A lot of the museum focused on the local Revolutionary War history, as well as the War of 1812. I did double duty as the gift shop attendant and tour guide. We got a lot of interesting tourists. One of the best stories is one of our men a Chinese tour groups. By and large they were always picture happy, but generally respectful. We had just changed out an exhibit, and the newest one was focused on the local people who had fought in the Civil War. There were a couple of local folks who had gone to fight for the Confederacy, and we had a mannequin display with a recreation uniform. The mannequin had a Confederate battle flag draped over his arm. When giving the tour of the room, I often brought up the educational differences between the way modern day schools talk about the war in different parts of the country. One of the tourists piped up and said, so you are confederacy I said, no, that was a long time ago, and none of my family was involved, I was just born in Georgia, but they started talking to each other quickly in Chinese, and one of them grabbed the hat off the mannequin, next thing I know, half the group is taking pictures, and the other half is trying to get this hat on me and tossing the flag at me, I had to grab both of them back, I tried to put them back in their correct places, ask them not to touch anything, and carry on with the tour. Turns out, as soon as I left the room to take them into the hallway, they grabbed them again and started trying to get me to put them on. I didn't have the authority to ask people to leave the museum, in turn, so I radioed for my supervisor. He instead agreed to finish the tour, but if anything else was touched the group would be thrown out. Someone picked up a 200 year old painting on the second floor that wasn't behind glass yet, and they were told to not come back. I have so many stories from that place. Tourists are weird. They were obviously sent by the Chinese government to mock, disgrace, and destroy our American culture. <laughs> Worked as a tour guide at a few really old churches. Most people were fantastic but some are astonishingly douchy. Three types of tourists come up pretty often. 1. Those who interrupt a sound smart and it backfires miserably. Oh the bell tower collapsed in 1605? Well obviously it was damaged by peasants at the start of the French Revolution as all symbols of religion were reviled. Nah bro you're like 180 years off. I don't know how you fricked up that badly. 2. Those who demand to see closed sections of the church. One lady threatened to call the archbishop on me because I couldn't take her down to the crypt. Look. It's locked and no one's seen the key in like 300 years. I don't know what to tell you. 3. Those who mock me try to challenge me on every part of the tour. If you hate it so much then why are you paying to be here? Again, they were the exceptions. 99.999% of the time. I had a lot of fun and really enjoyed the groups I led. But some people seem to go out of their way to be stupid rude. Forgot. One time a man demanded a different tour guide because he wouldn't be led around by a dirty Russian. I'm not Russian. I don't speak Russian. I have no idea why he was so convinced I was Russian. I'm not a tour guide but I am in butthole. I worked at a magical theme park and had a woman come up to ask me a question. I stood in front of the pirate ride, dressed as a pirate, and she asked, Where is the pirate ride? I looked up at the big sign then back at her. Then again at the sign then to her. She became frustrated I wasn't answering her so she asked me again louder. Where is the pirate ride? I pointed to the train to my left told her to take the train to the fourth exit and get off and it will be on your right. The train has four total exits and as I got on my break I was walking away just in time to see her get off the train and angrily flip me off. Then get on the pirate ride. Of the thousands of the I'm not a but. S I've ever seen. There will never be one better than yours. I was in France on a school trip. We were headed from Nice to Paris. There was an aqueduct built by the Romans along the route so we stopped. There was a small crepe stand so we get crepes. These two girls, who were not affiliated with my school, get up and start demanding hamburgers. You know, hamburgers I finally said to them that they knew what a hamburger was, but they made crepes and crepes only. Comma from nice to Paris. Come on. It's not that bad. Many years ago I was in Berlin with my best friend. 
This was my third time in Berlin so I knew how to go around and I took him to the Brandenburg Gate and we see these huge posters of this actor called Mario Adorf. There was some kind of movie festival and he asked me who this Mario Adorf was. I had no freaking clue, so I just told him that during World War II Adolf Hitler's dad fled to Cuba and had a kid with a Cuban prostitute and called him Mario, Mario Adorf, and he totally believed it. The next day I go to some work meetings and he signs up for a free tour guide of the city while I work and he was taken to the Brandenburg Gate, where a kid asks a tour guide the same question. My friend interjected and told the story I had made up. I got a message from him while at work saying frick you, I'm never going to believe anything you say again, I was almost kicked from the fricking tour. Sister works at a restaurant in Bar Harbor, Emmy, a popular tourist town and cruise ship stop. Some gems are those islands in the bay real, who turns all the boats in the water to face the same way. Where are all the military ships this person thought Pearl Harbor occurred there, because apparently there is only one harbor in the US. I know you meant it but at first read I couldn't help but imagine your sister dressing up in a plywood restaurant costume and sitting on the bay all evening with people eating around her while she sits there stone faced, trying to blend in. I'm tour guide. How long is the aboriginal ladies gestational period? American tourist at Uluru, Ayers Rock Australia. Just wow. They were once classified as local fauna. Maybe she's from 200 years ago. I used to work as a tour guide for the college I go to. As part of my job, I gave Segway tours to prospective students and their families. One time I was with a couple families, and one of them had a 10 year old boy with them. I was leading them through the tour and at one point we were in a parking lot getting ready to park the segways before heading inside a building. The 10 year old boy had gotten off of his too early and was trying to get back on to catch up to the rest of the group. Instead of getting on the segway when it's stationary like you're supposed to, the kid tried to jump on after getting a running start. He completely flipped over the front of the segway and landed helmet first on the parking lot concrete. He was fine. But instead of checking on him like a good tour guide I started laughing uncontrollably. As you can guess I wasn't that family's favorite person after that. Not a tour gee but was at a tourist beach thing and there were probably 40 Chinese people just taking photos of these motorcycles in a line. One man went so far as to sit on one of the bikes and took pictures of his kinds climbing on it. One of the bikes got knocked over and the tourists did not even care. That row of bike belonged to patched members of the Hells Angles. The bikers did nothing except scream at them to leave or some bad things were going to happen. I felt scared at what they were going to do. Angles angels are all the same to a mathematician. I saw a Czech man literally toss a Chinese family off a memorial this past weekend. It was excellent as the bloke just segwayed up, stopped, stepped off and then hurls this family off the memorial. Wasn't really stupid, but annoying. I'm French Canadian and I was giving some information to four French tourists, and suddenly I notice that this woman have her camera pointed at me. I'm embarrassed but I still keep giving the information and at the end they all start laughing. At this point, my face is red and I'm feeling super uncomfortable. I ask the woman if she was filming me and she says yes your accent is too funny I have to show that to my friends in France. Basically I felt like some kind of freak show and that woman didn't even ask me before starting to film. She just put the camera in front of my face, which was really disrespectful. Let me tell you that I'm very self conscious and I felt a bit crappy after that. What a B. I don't like to hear the French Canadians get crap on by the French because of the difference in dialect. Their problem, not yours. When my family went to Ireland my younger brother walked up to the bartender in a small pub and ordered an Irish car bomb. The bartender explained that he had just ordered the Irish equivalent to a 9-11 tower collapse in America. He said it was okay because he had bartended on a cruise ship so he knew what my brother meant. He also said never to order that drink in Ireland again. Next time tell him to order a black and tan. Yes, this is sarcasm. Not a tourist, but I overheard this conversation between two American tourists on a Eurostar train waiting to depart Paris for London. What time does the train depart? I'm not sure. The ticket only has military, 24 hour, time on it. I wish they would use normal time. It's offensive to us Americans who don't understand military time. 
as an American who was capable of subtracting 12 from a number, all I could do was lay my head in my palms and wish I could smack them across the face. I worked at a petting farm and there I took a few photos for people. Standard stuff but on day the cockatoo was at the top of the slide in the little park area. It was his favorite place. The slide wasn't that popular so normally we let him be. There was an Asian couple however who decided to join him. I spotted them so I went over to supervise and talk about him a little. For those who don't know cockatoos get a little nippy with people that they don't know or like. Luckily I was in the accepted circle of people who he gets friendly with so that allows we to he control him when he gets playful. I go over and talk to the couple so they don't get bitten and they were very impressed I put the bird back down on the slide as we were finished and they took out a camera and asked for a photo. I said sure, but instead of wanting Emmy to take a photo they just wanted a photo of me, with the bird not in frame. It was fine and all but I just felt weird they wanted a picture of me and not the big bird nor themselves by it. I was like 12 when this happened so I was just a little shocked. My mum thinks it's because I have lighter hair. Here are a lot of people saying it's because of my hair and that makes sense I suppose. For those wondering I have lightish brown hair. And yes I worked at a petting zoo when I was 12. This is New Zealand. I've heard multiple stories of white people getting their pictures taken all the time when they visit Asian countries. I guess we just look really exotic or something. Not a guide, but when I was a tourist in Salzburg, Austria, I met an American who asked me if it was Austria or Australia that had kangaroos. He also informed me that if it weren't for McDonald's, he would have starved to death during his trip across Europe. During the same trip I ran into a group of Australians who would go and get pee on Guinness every night and then have farting contests in the common room of the hostel, while touring dark our concentration camp. One of the American tourists was telling horrible Jewish jokes during the Holocaust film presentation. He also tried to climb into the ovens. He thought it was hilarious for some reason. I am so embarrassed just reading this. How much does a night with you cost? Said an old creepy white dude to the apprentice geisha after we clearly made an announcement on the tour bus not to make an butt out of yourself by asking such questions. Still the translator accommodated the guest by conveying the question and the geisha in training smiled and walked away. I went on a cruise to Alaska one summer. One of the other passengers, a girl in her early 20s, packed only bikinis, short shorts, and tank tops. One of the landing party tour guides asked her why she didn't pack more warmly. She said it was because the weather channel always shows Hawaii and Alaska right next to each other. I gave up on the human race right then. I was with Great White Cage Diving Tour in South Africa. Also there were several American college girls with. One jumped in the cage and came up spluttering. IT's salty. Yup the ocean usually is. Your job is a dream of mine. Not your guide but once on one in the UK the guide was asking where everyone was from and making conversation. Ooh Paris I've been there etc. And these two guys responded. Guys. Slovenia. Guide. Oh right. Absolute silence. The two guys got offended and started complaining. Guys, you British don't even know where Slovenia is. You know nothing about us. Awkward silence. Me trying to be helpful. Well the capital city is Ljubljana. Ljubljana pretty sure I pronounced it wrong. Stares and awkward silence. Guide. Well anyway, we were all in a lift that took forever which made it even more tedious. I work in a national park with very dense forest. Someone asked me where the moose and bear were. I mean, they are freaking animals how the frick could I know where they are? We let them out when we set up the trees and turn on the waterfalls every morning. I was a tour guide for the Confederate White House in Richmond, Virginia, where Jefferson Davis stayed while president of the Confederacy. I had a family come in thinking they had arrived at the, the actual, real White House. It took me a second to realize they were serious. My sister and her fiancé came to visit me at my new house. Her fiancé asked, when are we going to Amsterdam I live in Denmark. I work at Epcot and Disney World and one day I was walking to my break and a guest asked me with total serious tone, Miss, when are you guys gonna put the dome up? It's raining. LOL. I had to stifle a laugh and explain we don't have a dome that covers Disney World when it rains. I was at the Vatican with a friend. He is Jewish and had never been in a Catholic church before. He saw a priest and parishioner enter a confessional. 
he yelled out loudly across the vast interior of the cathedral. Hey guys, this is just like the movies. He then began taking pictures through the screens on the confessional. Was lobster diving Palm Beach off a boat. Had a group of fellas and a smoking hot babe with them. They were in wetsuits. She had nice two-piece bikini. When you lobster, you carry a net bag with a long string to carry your catch. They had hook snaps to drag around. She just tied it to her bottom bikini. They did well, putting their catch in the bags, letting them fall behind. When they were surfacing, a great barracuda went for a snack. A tasty lobster in a bag, with a bottom bikini attached. Needless to say, the girl went up the ladder first to get on the dive boat. She didn't even flinch. I was the diva master guide at that time. Some things you just can't tell people. At first I assumed you were a lobster then all 13 years of public school came rushing back to me and I realized I might be dumber than I first thought. I give tours in Vancouver. I had some Americans from Florida ask if we had Christmas here. They were also surprised that we had our own lottery. I'm not a tour guide, but I work in NYC and commute daily. Tourists, when you fan your entire family out across a walkway gawking at the awe and wonder, in reality a disgusting subway tunnel, thus making it so that people can't pass you, we will immediately want to shank you. Don't block the way in NYC, ever. That goes for every place in the world. Sure, enjoy the spectacle of our great cities, in single file, so we can pass your slow butt. I was a tour guide on the Missouri in Pearl Harbor and people would ask me things like why are there so many Japs on board or why is the deck made out of wood if we showed them Japs that we could defeat them with firebombs. I'm Japanese as well. And I would either immediately call them out and tell them that they couldn't use that language on board the ship, or give them a phenomenal tour and talk to them afterwards about whether or not they enjoyed my tour. Most of the time they did and I would just say as nicely as possible well. I'm Japanese myself and this ship is a part of my history too. Also one time a lady brought a beach towel and laid it on the deck and just sunbathed. Also male tourists would request for a male tour guide because they figured the girls didn't know anything. Sir, just because your wife is a dumb bimbo doesn't mean that all women are. Now if you'll look to your left, you'll find some burn cream. Thanks for visiting the Missouri. I was teaching a couple of tourists to surf and a dolphin came near us and they screamed sharks and ran into the shore and told the lifeguard. The lifeguard swam out to me and I showed him that it was a dolphin. He muttered, frickin' zonies and swam back in. Also, there is this cove called La Hoya Cove that has a reef and everything that is home to a bunch of fish and sea lions. So I'm showing these people around the cove with snorkels and I notice a couple is missing. They had climbed up onto the rocks with the sea lions on them and were going to pet them. I started screaming at them along with the lifeguards because the sea lions were starting to freak out. I put them back on the beach and told them not to move. Guess where they were from? Arizona. I love the fact of the lifeguards swimming out into the sea to check for sharks. I'm not a tour guide, but one time when I was in Walt Disney World, me and my parents were standing in line for the rock and roller coaster in Hollywood Studios, and some some lady with her two kids, I think, it might have actually only been one, tried to cut the entire line, when she got up to us, about one third of the way in, we all stood making a wall so they couldn't get through, and they were acting all confused like what are they doing? And the people in line around us started clapping for us and one of the cast members came up and escorted them back to the end of the line. The things people think they can get away with. I'm not a tour guide but tourists posing for picture at the shoes on the Danube Memorial and people taking selfies at concentration camps are two things that have irked me in the past. Not a tour guide, but I was at Mackinac Island and someone asked the tour guide what time of day they swing the Mackinac Bridge from St. Ignace to the island. Did you respond at the same time that the Golden Gate Bridge swings over to Alcatraz? Note, Mighty Mac is over 3x as long as the GG Bridge and heavier, although the GG's towers are taller, with a wider span, bigger bundles of cables, etc. An Indian guy asked me so do you know where the white palace is haven't called it the white house since, except for just now. 
I'm not a tour guide but this summer I visited the terracotta warriors while I was in China. There wasn't much to do to be honest as it was just a few gigantic pits in the ground filled with the sculptures but I did overhear this really interesting story from a tour guide. Apparently, a few weeks before I went, a French guy visited. He was a huge fan of the warriors and even went so far as to dress up as one for his visit. Somehow he thought that it would be a good idea to go into one of the pits. AKA the pits that only archaeologists and important world leaders are allowed to go into. Fortunately for him, security actually took a while to find him as his costume made him blend in with the warriors. When security did find him though, he was promptly kicked out of the country and blacklisted from ever visiting again. I got asked what sweet tea was. I responded tea, with sugar. I also once got asked where the giraffe was as we terrade through a salt marsh. I'm still not sure what prompted that question, but I responded that sometimes a high tide it steps in the sinkholes and the only thing you can see above the grass is those two tufts on the top of its head. They believe me. Everglades National Park. Huge group of Chinese comes to eat at our small restaurant. They sit down and ask for 10 hot waters and 5 American burgers. So I get them their burgers they then take forks and one person would take the top bun and stab it and then eat the bun like a corn dog on a stick. The next in line would stab the patty, hold it up in the air and eat it like a patty on a stick the next person would stab the bottom bun and eat it on a stick and so on every person had a just a bun to eat or a patty. So bizarre. I was in the Louvre and was talking to some American guy for about 15 minutes. At the end of the conversation he complimented me on my English and good accent. I'm like dude, I'm from Oregon. I'm a driver for Lyft in an eastern US city not many drivers here so I shouldn't say which. I pick them up at the airport with the impression that like normal people they just wanted to go to their hotel or the tourist Y area or something. But they asked me to give them a small tour of the city. If any of you are Lyft or Uber drivers, you know that the longer they're in the car, the more you make. So of course I said yes. The street culture in this city is awful. People don't give a crap and just walk across the crap because honestly a lot of them are just trying to get hit so they can make money. I slammed on my brakes because someone decided to try that on me. Of course I was pee because I could have easily got rear-ended. But I'm used to it so I brushed it off. My passengers, knowing it wasn't my fault, screamed freaking ns popular racial slur if you're oblivious to the world. It was a hot day, the windows were down by the customer's request so they could take pictures. We got a lot of bad looks, so I took an alley and got out of there really, really fast. At that point, according to the rules I have to follow, I was allowed to end the ride. So I was ignoring their demands to go back that area so they could take pictures and took some back roads to a different part of that nice area. Ended the ride and told them they had to get out. If any of you are Lyft or Uber drivers you know that the longer they're in the car, the more you make. Or if we understand the concept of a taxi. In France, we were dispatching a tour to Nice and Ease. Pronounced correctly sounds like Nice and Ease. But when it was called over the intercom no one moved. We tried again and still no one budged. Finally we tried again with nice and easy and everyone jumped up and headed to the bus. FFS people. As with most everyone else I'm not a tour guide, just knowledgeable about the area I live in and used to come into contact with a lot of tourists in and around Yellowstone. Just posted this last night, but it's worth repeating. At what elevation do deer turn into elk? And the ever glorious, it's like 80 degrees down here. What's that white stuff up on top of the mountain do people spray paint the mountain to look like there's snow? And the countless tards that walk up to wild animals in the park, thinking it's a big zoo. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.